uh, okay. So, uh, hello everyone. Uh, I welcome you all on behalf of ISF College of Pharmacy, MOGA, uh, in the ISF CP dialogue series under the ages of IQAC, IIC, ISF College. So, today we have uh, Dr. Parul Grover as our uh, speaker for the day. Dr. Parul Grover is working as Associate Professor in the Department of Pharmaceutical Chemistry, uh, Kite School of Pharmacy, Kite Group of Institutions, Ghaziabad. Uh, I welcome you, ma'am, on behalf of uh, the whole ISFCP family. Uh, the topic uh, of talk for Dr. Parul is Products, Concept, Applications and Design. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Dr. Parul. Uh, so you can please proceed for your lecture. Uh, thank you, Dr. Pooja Chavla, ma'am, for inviting me to deliver this lecture and i am also thankful to shri praveen garg ji chairman isf college of pharmacy uh, moga professor dr gd gupta sir director principal isf college of pharmacy moga and dr rk narang vice principal isf college of pharmacy moga for providing me this opportunity to be a part of this series so i'll start with my lecture So the topic of the talk is products, concept, applications, and design. Uh, the term prodrug was coined by Sir Albert in the year 1958, which means uh, actually he gave the term prodrug for those inactive compounds that can be converted into active compounds by chemical or metabolic variations. So what is the need of this concept basically? Prodrug term, it refers to the pharmacologically inactive compounds that are converted to the active drug by a metabolic biotransformation. The biotransformation or activation may occur prior, during or after absorption within the body. So in case of problem of metabolism, prodrug can be used as an asset and after phase one metabolism or some activation by some enzymes, these are converted into active drugs. Uh, this is also uh, the part of that concept only like the inactive drug are converted into sorry the active drugs by chemical modifications are converted into inactive drugs these active drugs were not able to cross the biological membrane so in inactive form they are able to cross the biological and pharmaceutical barriers and inside the body by the action of enzymes they are converted to the active drugs these are the problems that are associated with the drugs so that is the need that we are transforming the drugs into uh, into pro drugs there is a problem of solute if there is a problem of solubility absorption and distribution site specificity instability prolonged release toxicity poor patient acceptability or formulation there are two designing parameters for this approach first is pro drug can be converted into active drug by quantitative conversion. Second is prodrug can be converted into active drug plus a non-active moiety that is also non-toxic. There are two types of prodrugs. First is carrier link prodrugs and other is bioprecursor prodrugs. Carrier link prodrug is further subdivided into three types. One is bipartite that is composed of one carrier that is attached to the drug. Tripartite, a carrier group is attached via a linker to the drug. Then we have mutual prodrugs in which two drugs are linked together. This is the example of carrier link prodrug. So these active prodrugs are attached to the carrier or pro moiety with the help of covalent bonding. Example is chloramphenicol. This is chloramphenicol. Inside the body, this prodrug will be acted upon by enzyme esterase and it will give the uh, it will be released into its active form that is chloramphenicol plus succinic acid so chloramphenicol basically has low water solubility so it may cause a pain at the site of injection drug may begin to precipitate out of the solution and damage the surrounding tissues to overcome this 
we can prepare a drug with increased solubility in administered solvent so succinate ester ester was prepared to increase this water solubility activation occur in plasma to active drug and succinate ester and ester is catalyzed by esterase present in the plasma this is another example of carrier linked pro drug in which membrane permeability is improved example is levodopa a pro drug for dopamine so levodopa with uh, by the action of enzyme decarboxylase is converted into dopamine so dopamine is useful in treating parkinson's disease it is too polar to cross cell membranes and blood brain barrier and lipophilic pro drug can cross cell membrane this lipophilic pro drug that is levodopa carried across cell membrane by carrier proteins for amino acid so this is the pro drug for dopamine then pro same pro drug to improve membrane permeability it is shown with the help of a figure so this is levodopa it crosses the blood brain barrier and inside the brain cells it is converted into dopamine with the help of enzyme decarboxylase then we have next class of pro drugs that is tripartite pro drugs in this the carrier is linked to the drug with the help of a linker through the action of enzymes this carrier will be separated from linker and the drug and spontaneously this linker will be separated from the drug example of tripartite pro drug is bicampicillin or pivampicillin which is a pro drug of ampicillin so this is the structure of bicampicillin and pivampicillin this is the carrier this acidic group this is the linker and it is converted into ampicillin which is a active drug of these pro drugs bicampicillin and pivampicillin now next moving on to mutual pro drugs so mut in mutual pro drugs it is same as carrier linked pro drug but in this the carrier or pro moiety is also pharmacologically active example is estramustin which is an anti neoplastic drug so we can see the active drug that is nor mustard and this is the steroidal part of this estramustin so both are pharmacologically active another uh, very good example of mutual pro drug is banorylate that is a pro drug and it is converted into active drugs aspirin and paracetamol inside the body then the second class of pro drug is bio precursor pro drugs in this the active drug is converted into inert molecule this does not include any carrier moiety it has same lipophilicity as the parent drug bioactivated by redox biotransformation only by enzymatic activation they are converted into active form example is a drug that is non steroidal anti inflammatory drug selindac this is the sulfoxide group which is converted into active uh, drug inside the body now moving on to the applications of pro drug so there are two uh, categories of application one is pharmaceutical and other is pharmacological application pro drugs can increase the patient solubility drug solubility reduction of git irritation reduction of pain at the injection site and it can increase drug stability if we talk about pharmacological application it helps in enhancement of lipophilicity prevention of pre systematic metabolism prolonged duration of action and also helps in drug targeting so let us discuss these applications in detail first point was improvement in water solubility so importance of aqueous solubility is required or uh, it is important basically aqueous solubility is important in ophthalmic products and parenteral products so this improvement can be done either by ester formation if we form some succinate ester of that drug or some salt formation so example is we can form ester like for chloramphenicol it is available in as chloramphenicol succinate so this pro drug has higher water uh, water solubility it is converted into chloramphenicol plus succinic acid that is a non toxic moiety inside the body so this has less aqueous solubility its pro drug has higher aqueous solubility then the next example is reduction of pain at the injection site 
so again if the drug has poor solubility it will cause local pain this can be solved by increasing water solubility of that drug for example phenytoin which is available as phenytoin sodium it has higher water solubility so phenytoin uh, without or if we uh, give it to a patient in its active form as such and it is its im injection will be painful because of its low water solubility next application is patient acceptability so a patient will accept the drug if if it has a good order and a good taste taste of that drug can be improved by reduction of solubility in saliva lower or lowering of affinity of drug towards taste receptors so a very good example is metronidazole which has a very bitter taste so it is given as a pro drug in the form of its benzoyl ester so benzoyl metronidazole is a pro drug of metronidazole to improve the taste of that drug then next is improvement of order so ethyl mercaptan is the drug that has a foul order it is uh, available in its phthalate ester form that has high boiling point than its parent drug but it is orderless so it improves the acceptability of the patient then next is reduction of git irritation so several drugs are there that cause irritation and damage to gastric mucosa through direct contact increased stimulation of acid secretion or through interference with protective mucosal layer the non steroidal anti inflammatory drugs especially salicylates have such a tendency they lower the gastric ph and induce ulceration so examples of pro drug designed to overcome such problems of gastric problems are given below the parent drug salicylic acid its pro drugs available are aspirin and salicylate for kanamycin kanamycin palmoate for nicotinic acid nicotinic acid hydrazide then next again reduction of pain on injection site we have already discussed the example of phenytoin for this so intramuscular injection are particularly painful when the drugs precipitate into the surrounding cell or when the solution is strongly acidic alkaline or alcoholic for example the low aqueous solubility of clindamycin hydrochloride and alkaline solution of phenytoin are responsible for the pain on injection this can be overcome by use of more water soluble product of such agents like two ester of clindamycin so this is clindamycin 2 phosphate with increased aqueous solubility means reduction of pain after injection with this ester the next application is enhancement of solubility and dissolution rate of drug so water solubility drug water soluble drugs are desired where dissolution is the rate limiting step in the absorption of poorly absorbed aqueous soluble agents or when parenteral or ophthalmic formulations are desired so drugs with hydroxyl function can be converted into their hydrophilic form by use of half esters such as hemisuccinate esters can be formed hemiglutarates can be formed hemiphthalates can be formed the other half of these acidic carriers can form sodium potassium or amine salts and render the moiety water soluble for phenolic drugs and some alcohols as in the case of steroidal drugs such as cortisol prednisolone betamethasone and dexamethasone the sodium succinate salts have poor chemical stability and hence phosphate esters are preferred glycoside pro drugs of some agents and lysine ester of benzodiazepines are also water soluble such hydrophilic pro moieties when meant for parenteral use are advantageous over propylene glycol solutions which are toxic and painful so for parent drug chlorum phenicol tocopherol testosterone menthol these are the available pro drug pro drugs with enhanced solubility so these are esters basically then next application is enhancement of chemical stability an example of this is azacitidine the aqueous solution of this drug is readily hydrolyzed but the bisulfate pro drug is stable to such that degradation at, at acidic ph is more and what it is more water soluble than the parent drug so this is azacitidine its stable bisulfite pro drug this is the pro drug that is that has improved chemical stability next application is enhancement of bioavailability that is enhancement of 
uh, through enhancement of its lipophilicity. So most drugs are absorbed by passive diffusion for which lipophilicity is an important requirement. A big advantage of increased viability through increased lipophilicity is the reduction in dosing. For example, bicampicillin is as effective as ampicillin in just one third of the dose of liter. The next application is prevention of pre-systemic metabolism. So several corticosteroids undergo extensive first pass hepatic metabolism, which can be prevented by the use of their esters or either their prodrugs. Then prodrugs can also be used to increase duration of action. Drugs having short biological half-life require frequent dosing. That can be overcome by controlled release approach or prodrug approach. So there are two rate limiting steps for this prodrug approach. First is we can uh, do this control release when the prodrug uh, travels into the blood. Then second, we can control its activation when this uh, prodrug is converted into drug in the blood. So these are the rate limiting step in release of drug from the prodrug. Then application of prodrug for sustained drug action is haloperidol. So this is the structure of haloperidol. We can see haloperidol decanoate. In oral, if we give this drug by oral route, its duration of action is two to six hours. If we give it by IM intramuscular route, duration of action is one month. Similarly, for another drug, flufenazine, that is a short uh, that has short duration of action. So we can uh, give it in the form of esters which can increase its duration of action also. The next application is reduction of toxicity and side effect. For this, the example is Dizepam, which is given, uh, which is available in its uh, LDZ prodrug form that is free from drowsiness. Dizepam has a, a toxicity, we can say that it causes uh, drowsiness. But if we give it in, the, in this form, it, uh, this prodrug is free from drowsiness. Another example is terbutaline. Its prodrug is ibuterol, which is a ester. So its prodrug is 100 times potent, has longer duration of action as compared to this drug. This uh, active drug also has systemic and local toxicity. It causes tachyphylaxis. Then there are uh, prodrugs for uh, sp site specificity also. So site specific delivery is the ultimate goal in all drug delivery research program where optimal therapeutic benefit of a drug is obtained and unwanted effects are minimized. It is desirable for highly toxic compounds such as employed in cancer. The main aim of pro-drugs for site specificity is to achieve very precise and direct effect at the target with minimal effect on rest of the body. So a drug, after its absorption into systemic circulation, it gets distributed into target as well as to its non-target sites. The distribution to non-targeted tissue may lead to undesirable toxic effect and also insufficient concentration to the target site. If the target is too long and take more time for distribution, the drug may get eliminated without reaching such a site. So to minimize such problems, targeted drug delivery prodrug approach has been used. So novel prodrugs with modified properties has been designed, which preferentially achieve higher concentration of biotransformed drug at the desired targeting site, such as brain targeting, kid, uh, kidney targeting, liver targeting, virus targeting, tumor targeting, lymphatic targeting, and colon targeting. So this is how site specific drug delivery system can be used so after absorption and distribution the drug goes to its target site as well as non-target site so at target site insufficient drug concentration reaches and at non-target sites we can see undesirable toxic effect so applications again target to the brain or to cancer tissue whatever is required this is selective uptake system for sustained drug action for example adrenaline which is used uh, for glaucoma, it's prodrug adrenaline ester. So after it is located all over the body, esterase enzyme. So adrenaline ester after action of esterase is converted into its active form adrenaline. So this approach is basically not used. So adrenaline when given in the form of adrenaline diester, uh, diester ketone. So ketone reductase enzyme 
is located specifically in the eye so it will convert this into ester then after the action of enzyme this adrenaline will reach specifically at the target site that is eye so this approach can be used for target drug delivery so to summarize with prodrug is pharmacologically inert compound it is metabolized by chemical or enzymatic process it separates out therapeutic effect from undesirable effects modifies physico chemical biopharmaceutical or pharmacokinetic properties it solves stability solubility permeability toxicity and drug targeting problems of active drug then targeting prodrug design is a novel approach to achieve delivery of drug to a specific site may become integral part of basic drug design to improve problems that are associated with the active drugs so these are some of the references i have used to prepare this ppt and thank you for your kind attention thank you dr parul uh, thank you so much for uh, this lovely presentation and uh, i'm quite hopeful that uh, that many of our students uh, not only of isfcp uh, but across uh, complete india they will be benefited from this lecture because as we all know that prodrug is a very important topic for uh, uh, medicinal chemistry medicinal and they're not chemistry. only in the chemistry not only in the chemistry uh, from pharmaceutics and other branches also we are uh i'm not wrong if i say that we are uh, somewhat dependent on the prodrugs for the delivery of our uh, uh, active pharmaceutical ingredient so thank you so much uh, dr parul and uh, i'm really thankful to you for your uh, uh, this uh, support at this time thank you so much thank you uh, so i think dr uh, dr gd gupta wants to say something okay so thank you very much madam and uh, i just include only two three points so first point is very important all slides are very very sharp and uh, you have given the i have come to know that and i want to see over here if you have even stop your fan so there is the no any disturbance related to the voice so each and every words it is very very crystal clear and this is the one of the also important to all the audience those who are the learner researcher and those are giving the presentation so how to prepare presentation and how to deliver this shows the excellent dedication at thank you so much sir thank you time of the hour. thank you sir thank you so much sir and thank you pooja ma'am again for your invitation for invitation so <laughs>